some numbers from that third set won by FU. That's right. Attack wise, FU leading 15 to 10. Blocking FU 1 to none. Service FU 4 to none. Unforced errors, FU pa rin. Oh. <laughs> five. All around sila, but wow. the unforced errors. So that is three straight sets that they have gotten uh, double figures in unforced errors from FU. Let's take a look at the highlight from that last uh, set ito ating third set. And of course, this highlight is brought to you by Chair for PGM, the first and only multivitamins for teens. Long rally again. And Tina Salak says, you know what? Let's give it to Shaira and end it. Nakakapagod din ang long rally. <laughs> That's right. But Tina Salak, will she be starting? Yes, she is starting set number four here. And of course, our game on Thursday, May 28, starting 2 p.m. right here on the National Broadcasting Network, NBN. San Sebastian taking on Adamson. Two former champions going right. at each other. Well, actually, the two defending champions. Oh, oh, because Adamson won the first, first conference last year, and San Sebastian won the last conference. Tina Salak back in the starting lineup. And let's see if the University of St. LaSalle can pull off another upset of a set like they did in set number one. It has been close, huh? Like, make no mistake about it. That's right. It's that In that third set, FU actually was leading by a huge margin and USLS just refused oh. to go away. Lumigit ng apat yung uh, University of St. LaSalle. And that one goes long. So a good start here for LaSalle getting the first point of set number four. That's right, Mendez actually serving uh, consistently for uh, the Lady Stingers. With that uh, Ricky Hatton serve. Yeah. Uh, may kita naman natin yan. Talagang pag sinusuntok niya yung bola eh, parang mm, yan. <laughs> oh, Sala. Dakis. Out. Oh. Dakis is starting to miss the back line, huh? Exactly. And uh, it, a, again, a good set by Tina Salak. Just a single blocking coverage. Mm -hmm. Or a single block coverage, but Dak is hits it wide. Well, 2 0 St. LaSalle. Salak attacking. Oh, Aplaska sends it back. And attacking is uh, Morada. And uh, she mishit the ball, but she's still able to score. Yeah, I mean, a lucky break for uh, FPU. You said it mishit, but a point again. Oh, ganya kataas lumundag si Morada. Na mishit na ganya, naka score pa rin siya. Salak with the serve. Mendez down the middle to Kea Plaska. Dakis on the angle. Oh, and off the hands once again of Mendez. Somebody has to tell Mendez that she has people behind her. Exactly. Ito number four. Number four, si Yandal was actually there. Or nine, I'm sorry, nine. Oh, Yandal hasn't seen action yet. Nine. That would be uh, Silva. Cheryl Silva. Rachel Andak is turned back. Here's Tina Salak. Goes back set to Mayat Carolino. Mendez. Jada Plaska. Tagana to the dig. Over set it up. Jada Plaska says, Thank you very much. Well, Tina Salak actually wanted to go for that uh, block, but she realized she's back line. Like it or not, Whoops. <laughs> she can't do anything about it. 3-2. Lady Stingers up by one. Kea Plaska. And a chase for LaSalle. Very lazy service reception for FEU. Shaira Gonzalez, very late in reacting that time. And let's take a look at our service ace. Brought to you by Chair for PGM, the first and only multivitamins for teens. And yes, she is a teenager. It took see uh, Kea Plaska. Oh no, she just turned 20. Dakis. Uh oh, they're not gonna get to this. Rachel and Dakis must be already scoring in like, I think 20 something they focus at this point. Well, that's right, but uh, again, I would like to mention that Tina Salak has been distributing the right. ball very well, so even the Quakers have been working hard. Here's Mendez to Jada Plaska. Tagaras with one hand keeps it alive. Dakis again, this time block. Carolino goes to Shaira. Mendez tipping it over. Dakis sends it back. Dolar who's in the game once again. Shaira. Wow. They go out. A long rally here. Danila gives up the free ball. Salah. Shaira. Oh, and that one just goes down. Nice read by Dakis. 
Yeah. Si Dak is actually is playful at that time. Right. Kumorma muna, pero alam niyang out na. Tied at four. Set number four. And Morada to serve. Silva, great serve that time by Morada. And Silva acknowledges she took her eye off the ball. Hello, sabi mo, bakit force? Ah, five four left. And uh, we'd like to thank our friends from Axel, the official outfitter of the Shake East B-League. Makayla Irish Morada. Oh, I don't think she likes to hear her full name. Oh, dapat na lang. Morada na lang. May May pa yun. Makayla Irish May Morada. Triple threat for name. That's right. And the parents was uh, very busy when they oh, were doing the birth certificate. That's right. Siguro no grade one din yan, ano? Susulat lang niya pangalan niya. Nandun sa question number one yung mga klase, nagsusulat pa rin siya ng pangalan. And there's another score here for FPU, courtesy of Mayat Carolino. Well, a back set by Tina Salak and Mayat Carolino. It's our power spike brought to you by Chair for PGM, the first and only multivitamins for the game. 6-5 FPU, they've taken the lead once again. Rachel Andakis is just scoring in all fronts. <laughs> That's right. Well, service ace the man. 7-5 FEU, Noreen. That's right. Well, the captain actually leads by experience and uh, should be in all angles. Service. Reception. Silang palo. Service na naman. 8-5 FEU has opened up a three-point lead here in set number four. We'll be right back at the arena set number four between FEU and the University of St. LaSalle yep University of St. LaSalle forced a fourth set by winning set number one and seeing action for the first time for uh, University of St. LaSalle is April uh, Ross Kingsmith one of their uh, former players or one of their returning players 